What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into the recap of um, Crazy in Love, episode three. And girl, it is a mess. What is it titled? I don't even know what it's titled. Uh, decisions, decisions, okay? So for one, let's just talk about the beginning. Uh, Rashawn was basically trying to tell them that she wanted to you know, unalive the child. And, you know, in the beginning, her sisters is try just trying to, I don't even want to talk about the crying scene. Okay. She cried. We know why she was crying. Her sisters was trying to tell her, you know what I'm saying? You should really have the baby. The baby ain't really, he ain't really the reason why you're having a baby in the first place. But you know, we rocking with you no matter what's going on. And she trying to let everybody know in a more defensive, aggressive way, I don't want this child. He don't want to be with me. What am I bringing a child in this on this earth for? You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is before she realized how far along she was. And, you know, she just letting it be known. Like, I don't want this child, gang. So her mama comes. Okay. I got to get the line up here. I, I want to show y'all. Okay. So her mama comes. Every time I get on her mama, it don't show her mama. <laughs> mama, where you at? There she go. So the mama comes and, you know, she like, what's going on? Y'all I just landed or whatever. What's up? She like, ma, I just want you to know I'm going to have a, uh, you know, get this baby up out of here. I don't want this child. And her mama instantly went into mommy mode. Like, yo, what you mean? Like that child could bring any type of joy to your life. That child could be the president. This child could be, you know what I'm saying? Um, greater than you, you know? And, she was saying that she had 12 kids. It was real hard. Her dad beat on her the worst when um she had Tasiki. You know what I'm saying? When she was pregnant with Tasiki and um she said, you know, her Tasiki came out strong, like, you know, basically just trying to let it be known like you might be killing something that could be worth something basically. And Krishan just trying to let her mom know, I don't don't you understand the type of relationship I'm in? Her mom get to compare the relationship with her and her father. And it was bad. It was terrible. He was abusing her while she was pregnant. He was more abusive with the girls and the, no more abusive with the boys than the girls. It was kind of sad. And she had 12. So she went through 12 pregnancies of hell. Okay. So I see where Krishan gets that from to stick beside him. It's because that that's in her mind. That's like in her blood. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, her mom was just trying to let her know, like, don't do that, you know? And she's trying to let her mom know I'm doing it. So, you know, they talking, doing their thing. The mom is really going off at this point. Like, yo, don't you understand that you are unaliving a human, basically? Uh, you shouldn't do that. I had all 12. She, it was really repetitive at that point. Now, Krishan and Tasiki for some reason got into a heated argument because Tasiki's feeling the feeling as though you don't, you're not being the same. You're not being how you normally are. Normally you, you at my house breaking shit. And, <laughs> and when she said that, Krishan is like, nigga, what you mean? Like I wasn't at your house breaking stuff. I was laying down on the couch, crying, depressed or whatever. And her sister was like, yeah, you was like, you don't remember. She bringing it up, but she's bringing it up in an aggressive way. And, um, Hold on, this door dash. She was bringing it up in an aggressive way, and Krishan wasn't feeling the aggression coming from her. Also, she felt as though that she didn't do that. Tasiki felt as though she did do that. So Krishan made a statement saying, like, if I don't do nothing, basically, I'm about to look like the pussy on the TV again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember in the first episode, not first episode, but a few episodes into the series on um their crazy in love season one Krishan didn't hit her sisters back and you know everybody was all in her face she didn't hit nobody back so she's saying you ain't about to have me looking like no hole on tv again so to sit to Siki got into Krishan face and Krishan ended up pushing her this was around the moment where she ended up pushing her or whatever so not only did to try and fight Krishan, she stole off on Tessa, you know, in the process. So in the process of that, and it will not let me see it. Yeah, it was before this. Trying to get to it. 
in the process of that, this is right after Krishan, like y'all get her out of here. Her mom is like, you can't control your liquor. And Tessa's like, get her out of here because you not about to fight Krishan. She's pregnant, you know? And, um, child that kind of dragged out to seek. got a whole husband. Didn't even know that he trying to defend her, but ended up shutting up because he wasn't going to win. So after that, um, to to Siki's husband was trying to talk to her girl. They just went to the next day. Okay, next day, she here with Blue. She trying to tell this nigga what happened last night, cause he's asking what happened last night, and she like, yeah, bro, like I'm just trying to tell them, you know what I'm saying? I gotta abort the child and da da da. And he was like, oh, uh, he trying to change the subject, talk about something else. And she starts crying. He starts laughing. He like, bro. <laughs> what's wrong like he always laughs when she cries um she cries a lot so i mean it's only so many times you're gonna show i guess empathy when someone is just crying all the time so he just had no he didn't want to pay attention to that try to change the subject she ended up saying like he i guess he ended up asking like basically i don't know if you why you want to get rid of the child some in reference to getting rid of the child and she was like, because you don't want to be with me. Why would I have a child? You don't want to be with me. And child, he had nothing to say. Nothing. So they end up going into um, the, the room where, you know, they had to do the ultrasound or whatever, I believe. Yeah, the ultrasound to see how long she's been pregnant. And her mom was talking to Blue. And she like, mom, can you stop talking before I put you out? She's being very rude to her mom. Um she's been rude since the beginning. This is actually the time she said that she's been rude since the beginning. I feel like to her mom. Um, but I can't tell her what's, you know, what has happened to her with her and her mom, girl. Cause y'all know the lady that had me. I don't fuck with her neither. Okay. So, you know, that happened and she ended up finding out that she was 20 weeks and some change, basically five months. So after she found out she's five months, she like, what the fuck? Like she was just all messed up about that. Cause she knew, the her first question was, is it too late? And the doctor wanted to speak to her on the side about it being too late or not. Um, it's a law in California that basically uh, you can abort up to the time that you're liable. So if it ain't hurting you, you can do it, basically. Um, so after that happened, you know, Blueface going back and forth with Krishan's friend, whoever this girl is. And she's just trying to let him know Krishan didn't cheat on you. Cause also what, what I didn't include is Blueface was trying to calculate when she had sex. He's saying that she left, went to Baltimore or claiming she went to Baltimore, but didn't go. He said that she was laying in the bed naked with some dude claiming that she didn't have sex with him. And you know, he's just trying to add the dates up, which I feel like he has the right to mama's babies, daddy's babies. But this friend is trying to, Take up for Krishan to say she ain't do nothing. He like, how you know you right there? You know what I'm saying? So basically Krishan has told this man a lot of lies. And he he even said that uh he stays because he love her. You know, he got unconditional love for her, he said. Uh, so that's why he stayed. And then got a weird way of showing he love her, but that's what he said. So after that, um, like I said, this friend is just trying to prove that Krishan ain't do nothing. Um he ain't going for it. So after this, Blueface left. He went. He had a performance or something at the school, um, which is crazy. He 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 performed. Hello, good morning, bitch. How you doing today? At the school. But before that, uh, Krishan's mom was trying to tell Blueface, and he, she was trying to tell Krishan actually. This is what she got upset. She was trying to tell Krishan that the baby is too big. Don't abort the baby. That's what she was trying to say. The baby's too big. Don't do it. And Krishan didn't want to hear that girl. She was angry. She yelled at her mama. And her mama said, but she telling blue face too. And basically her mom was trying to tell Krishan, you're not about to stop me from telling him. And blue face is just like, what's up? What is it? You know? Not knowing that that's all she was going to say. Blueface probably would have said, I'm just, she can make the decision, but Krishan blew it up real bad. It's causing a lot of issues. And I feel like she'd be a liability in a lot of situations, but in this situation, very much so a liability because her mama could have just 
She could have said that. We all thinking that she about to say some wild shit. That was it. So Krishan is trying to stop her mama from doing it. It cuts off. Um, Blueface ended up. Oh, this is where they at the lie detector place. And well, this is the morning of. And he like, you know, you got to tell the truth about da da da. So this is where he asked the question. Um, have you had sex with anybody in 2023? Then he told her she's a lion. He said, you lying bitch. That's how he said it. And uh, she was saying, don't call me that. I just feel as though, because that was it. I feel as though Krishan, not Blueface give her leeway to do nothing, but Krishan going to do what she want to do. I feel like she just hasn't had sex though. Uh, I feel like she's flirted with guys. Now her laying in the bed, nigga with, a, with somebody. I don't know about all that. We would have, this is a legend. He did say that, but it's a legend. Well, I ain't seen it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's what she did, but he's saying that's what she did. But anyway, um, he's just trying to let it be known that she be lying when she don't have to. Uh, I think that she lies because she don't want to go back and forth with him. Also, I think she's on the defense when he goes out and mess with other women and shit. That be her turn to go out and do her thing, right? So then after he's done his own thing, he get the question in her. And, you know, at this point, you out, I'm out. It ain't nothing, neither one of our business. I don't even want to know what she was doing. But he always want to know what she was doing. So that is uh, where that episode ended. You can watch this entire episode on my Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. Uh, I did react to it. And, yeah, that's what I got. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.